And first at five, a significant bond reduction for a woman facing charges in the death of baby King J. Davila. Bond for Angie Torres, the infant's aunt, was originally set at $250,000. Paul Benema was in court today as the judge dropped it to $75,000. Angie Torres has been in jail in lieu of a quarter million dollar bail since January after the body of eight month old King J. Davila was found in a backpack buried in a shallow grave. She allegedly took part in a bogus kidnapping and stolen car scheme involving Christopher Davila, who claimed he was the infant's father. Davila, who is Torres' cousin, is facing injury to a child charges in the infant's death. I know she can get on her feet. I know she, I believe in her. Tota's mother, in court asking for a bond reduction, testified that she could not post the high bail. I asked family. I don't have any assets to sell or pawn or anything like that. Tota's sister, too, testified that she couldn't post bond, but promised to help in other ways. Take her wherever she needs to go, be there for her emotionally, um, in any aspect. Following the women's testimony, the ruling. The bond is reduced to $75,000 with global positioning, full house arrest. Torres also has a $50,000 bond in a separate aggravated assault case that remains in place. Torres' trial, absent a plea deal, is not likely to get underway until later this summer, probably not until mid-August. Paul Venema, KSAT 12 News.